Now, we are going to end tonight's News at 10 by remembering one of the bright, shining lights of our business. As you might have seen or read over the weekend, our health and science editor, the brilliant and brave Emily Morgan, has incredibly sadly died after a short illness. It has left all of us shocked. And of course, her family, of whom she was so openly proud, devastated. Since her death on Friday, there have been thousands of messages of support for them and admiration of Emily, including from past and present health secretaries. One of the many ITV viewers who wrote about her said, when she spoke, I listened. So indeed did we often when she was sitting right here in the studio. I had the joy of knowing Emily for half her 45 years. Like many others here, I was so incredibly proud to call her a friend. And she was such a great one. Loyal, kind, thoughtful, decent. None of us can believe, truthfully, we probably don't want to believe that she has indeed gone. Good night and thank you very much indeed for watching. And to you, Amanda, she will be familiar to many, if not all of you. This has been a bit of a miracle for you, hasn't it? Yeah. As our health editor, Emily Morgan, became a household name during the dark days of the pandemic. Unsurprisingly, every single bed in this ICU ward is taken up with a patient. If the sheer volume of time spent on COVID wards exposed her to a degree of risk, she was always clear as to why she was doing it. That was the reason we went in. We had a duty to do that as journalists, to report firsthand on the ground. Over more than a decade, her reporting on health and politics and much else besides was marked out by its clarity, its style, charisma, compassion and basic humanity. Are you going to be OK? Yes. <sighs> Just sort of need a stiff up and... <laughs> <laughs> it has there been a moment where you've woken up in the morning and thought, oh my gosh, what have I done? The last few days have been a disaster. She actually began her career as a producer, working behind the scenes. For five years at Westminster, we worked together every day as we crisscrossed the globe on planes and trains and automobiles after Blair and Brown and Cameron and many others besides. She was brilliant at her job, it's true, but she was also incredibly funny and completely irreverent. I once persuaded our editor to send us across Canada by train with cameraman Rob Turner to make a film on how the Canadians cut the deficit. Emily referred to this ever afterwards in front of the senior management as our holiday in Canada with Rob. Like many a friendship born at work, it was full of the talk of the joys of home. We watched her fall in love, get married, have two wonderful daughters. She must have had her faults, we all do, but we didn't see them. In the 33 years I've been here, I'm not sure I've witnessed too many people more popular in this newsroom. We are devastated tonight because we really loved her. And if you'd known her, you would have too.